Season's greetings. This is Tony Derry, Assistant Regional Director for Budget and Administration, and this is Region 8 Roundup. This year, the Central Valley Joint Venture celebrated their 25th anniversary. The efforts of the Central Valley Joint Venture partners to protect wetlands have significantly increased wildlife habitat resources in the Central Valley, not only for waterfowl, but for numerous other wetland-dependent species. To thank the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service employees for their help in protecting hundreds of thousands of acres of habitat, the Joint Venture organized a trip to Delavan, Calusa, and Sacramento refuges. Service employees of all disciplines, from budget to endangered species recovery, got to see a sunset view of the waterfowl fly-off from Sacramento National Wildlife Refuge as they saw how the work that they do benefits multiple species and the public. In Nevada, the endangered Devil's Hole pupfish has a new place to call home. The Ash Meadows Fish Conservation Facility on Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge was built using funds from the sales of federal lands and contains a replica underground tank of the actual Devil's Hole. The tank holds 100,000 gallons of water and is about 22 feet deep. While the tank is impressive, it is ultimately the pupfish eggs that make the facility a success. For the first time, eggs have been successfully hatched in captivity, and there are currently 21 Devil's Hole pupfish juveniles being cared for. The fish should reach adulthood in two to three months. To the Sacramento Fish and Wildlife Office, who teamed up with students at Phoebe Hearst Elementary School to plant nearly 250 plants, including native grasses and shrubs. The new additions will attract songbirds and pollinators to the schoolyard and complement the adjacent fruit and vegetable garden the school already has. The project was initiated by a group of teachers at Phoebe Hearst that attended the Summer Restore Institute, hosted by the service's Schoolyard Habitat Program and its partners. The native habitat on the school site provide opportunity for students to develop knowledge about their local environment and allows teachers to use a schoolyard to bring subjects like science, math, and art to life. This month, the Pacific Southwest region will celebrate its sixth anniversary. In recognition of the diverse landscapes and ecosystems in California, Nevada and the Klamath Basin, Director's Order 192 changed the California, Nevada Operations Office to Region 8. Since then, the region has been a trusted partner in fish and wildlife conservation, known for its scientific excellence, and known as stewards of the land and natural resources. The Pacific Southwest region currently manages 45 national wildlife refuges and five wildlife management areas. The region also has fish facilities, including two fish hatcheries that raise Chinook salmon and Lahutten cutthroat trout. In the coming years, the Pacific Southwest region will continue to work with partners on species recovery, habitat conservation plans, surrogate species, and landscape-level conservation projects. That's it for this edition's highlights on Region 8 Roundup. Until next time, I'm Cindy Sandoval.